Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to our Sports Fix. It is weekend country footy scores across South Australian country football leagues covered here at Flow FM. It was the Kinlow Cup back played at Cleve on the weekend, and in the preliminary matches, some great games. Great Flinders beat Eastern Air, was 3-8 to 3-1. Then out come Port Lincoln City, and they won 11-1 over Western Air, four goals. Port Lincoln Districts got up and beat Great Flinders, so that was a bit of a surprise, 8-5 to four goals and then uh, Lincoln City another win for them 8-8 to beat Eastern Air 2-5 while uh, a really good game between Lincoln Districts 8-3 over Western Air 5-8 just if they had a kick straight the boys from uh, out west they could have perhaps got a win there in the grand final that was played it was City who beat Districts uh, there at De Cleve in other matches across South Australia and in northeastern football it was a very very good round of football that was played on the weekend Bly Snowtown Big surprise in the scoreline, 15-8 to beat BBH, three goals, four. And that's a very one-sided win that may have been expected to be quite a close game. BSR beat South, 11-15 to 3-7. Nothing unusual about that. But a great performance by Min Man, beating North Clare, 8-6 to 5-4. And that really uh, sets their season up. Outstanding effort, though. This is the one that has shocked everybody. The Southern Saints, 18-12, 120 have beaten the great RSMU Hawks two goals for 16 at Riverton, if you don't mind. I'm still quite trying to work out how that scoreline is there. It's an exciting one for all Southern Saints supporters, that is for sure. And uh, looking at matches played then across the York Peninsula, the big upset, Butte, 10-6, 66, beat Paskerville, 8-10, 58. What a great performance and a great game of football. Outstanding win by the Southern Eagles, 14-13 over Wallaroo, 3-8. And meanwhile, Munter, 16-7, got the better of Central York, 8 Eight at Maitland too. So Munta setting up their season and now Central York in danger of missing the finals. The Crows from Karamolka, Stansbury and Middleton. Not in that order necessarily. 11 17 83 beating Ardrossan 6 6 42. Means Ardrossan from here, it's going to be tough going for them to make the finals. And we now go to the Adelaide Plains. Balaclava 21 9 beat Angle Vale 11 9. Hummix beating Hamley Bridge 14 16 to 11 8. Malala over two worlds 12 11 to 8 8. And Virginia 15 15 over United 10 7. Good to see United kicking a reasonable score there. And into Barossa Light and Gawler, the match of the round had to be South Gawler coming home with a six goal last term and beat Williston and this was on their home deck too 11-9 to 11-8 Williston uh, just don't seem to be able to get a win away from home and Andrew Jarman their coach would be pretty disappointed with that as would Anguston be with their performance against their old foe Newry they lost at 16-11 to 4-5 wow Anguston how they've fallen and good to see uh, Freeling improving at home 9 goal 6 beaten by the old foe Capunda 17 goals, 10 in the Mick and Shanahan Cup. While Barossa Districts took it right up to Tanunda, lost at 11-8 to Tanunda, Barossa Districts 6-13. Over now to the Riverland and Renmark beat Berry 9-18 to 4-4. Barmara Monash had a close one with Loxton, 9-14 to 9-6. So Loxton getting up and Wakery 14-17 beat North 6-1 in a one-sided game. Meanwhile, though, in Independent, the close one, Sedan Cambrai 6-13 over Beringa 5-2. While Cobby got the better of Blanchetown, Swan Reach 12-19 to 4 Five six, and uh, it was one cut twenty eight. 22 to Brownsville 6 6. Gee, what a difference a week makes in football for the Wonka boys. Uh, beaten the week before in a big shock and then coming out and kicking a cricket score the following week. As we then track to the Mallee, this is the competition where the big upsets and the big surprises occurred on the weekend. Pinaroo were unbelievably defeated by Karunda 8 7 to 3 goals 14, if you don't mind. What a win by Karunda. Corey Knight. He just wound the clock back, Corey. Booted four big goals, and they were just too good. Murrayville, what about this upset? Played at um, the Pinaroo on the weekend uh, for special circumstances. 14-7 beat Lamaru 11-20 in the upset of the season. What a great performance by the Bulldogs. <laughs> they certainly put a shock in the competition. Would Then look at this. BDT, three goals 11 to uh, peak, three goals 7 
at Canalpin in pretty wet conditions, we're told, So, but a low scorer and, gee, didn't peak, get close to their first win. In the competition played in the K&T, some incredible results. A one-pointer, Bordertown 11-4 over Border Districts 9-15. What about this result? Kybe Bolite 9-8, their old foe Narricourt, 9-6 in a thriller. Another result, this one, Mandala 10-14, Padthaway 12-8, Padthaway home by six points, 80 to 74. And then this, the biggest upset we reckon of the season. Lucendale, 17 15. They beat Kingston, the top side, 12 11. Amazing win by Sammy Gratz's boys. And then Keith, 7 10 in the wet over Panola, 6 8. A margin of eight points. Thrilling football in KNT. What a weekend. In Mid South East, and another close one with Robe. 10 17 77 Hatherley. 8 3 51. Good games there. Congorong beat Nangwari. Not by a huge margin. And then it was Glencoe over Tantanula by four goals. And Kalangadu 10 10 over Mount Burr. 8 5. Rounding out a great weekend. On your sports fix, cause across re- regional South Australia. Great to be able to bring them to you here on this Monday. Monday morning.